Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you that say I'm crazy, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the actual birth dates of my sons. Yeah. Jack and Zachary's birthday was January 16th of 2002. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The actual date of the, um, the Temperance and Good Citizen Day. Yeah. Now, it would be difficult for me to prove that you chose that date uh, for the amending of that law that was passed because of prohibition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But let's say you're in law enforcement. You don't need your testicles. Oh. See, as I understand it in welfare, they're willing to provide uh, sterilization for any person under the age of 21. Yeah. That um, they would pay for it. Mm -hmm. And as I understand, it's only for women. Mm hmm even though I was on welfare. Yeah. See, I've documented numerous lawsuits where at the time of us being on welfare, when we lived in Airway Heights, yes, I found out it was available that the state would pay for it. Now, we're not far from, from understanding that sterilization should be available to every citizen of the United States. Yes. And it's one of these laws that, let's say you're 18 to 25. Yeah. You don't want to have to take contraceptives. No. You don't want to have to purchase condoms. No. You don't want to have to worry about abortions. No. Why don't we make available forced or mandatory sterilization for all individuals over the age of 35? Yeah. Well, they can keep using their sexual nerve endings. They just won't reproduce any offspring. Could you get me all of the sterilizations that have been paid for? Yes. Mm-hmm. For all the welfare recipients in the United States for the last 30 years? Yeah. See, there's this idea, yeah, that you as an 18 to 25 year old, really 18 to 21, yes, you had so many kids during that first three years of being an adult that you are not a responsible citizen and you better just have the sterilization. <laughs> now, uh, when you talk about castration, it's very similar to sterilization. Mm -hmm. The testicles are actually necessary to be able to reproduce. Oh, mm -hmm. Now, this little wounding that you experience because of the use of dry ice. Mm -hmm. I've thought about it as a medical procedure, and it should heal up real nice underneath there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you might not have the use of your penis. <laughs> now, uh, my sons, yes, are probably concerned about my death. Mm -hmm. Will we ever be able to speak to our father? Mm -hmm. You know, why did you pick June 6 or January 16th of 2002? Mm -hmm. Now, as I remember it, it's November that we have elections. Yes. And I thought it was January 4th uh -huh, that you actually took office. Mm -hmm. Now, it's probably here in the Constitution someplace. Validity of public debt. Uh -huh. Exactly when is it that you take office as president and vice president? Mm -hmm. Um. Well, they have a certain date in the Constitution. Why was the 16th of January to be the year? Mm. Mm. Well, let's see. If November is the election and you're 18 years of age, yes, that's approximately um, 10 months before the actual election. Mm. Closer to 11 months, but I'd say 10 months, 10 actual months. Yes. What was the reason for using January 16th? See, dates are very important to those in the family. Mm. Um, if the election happens in November, why isn't the date of the Temperance and Good Citizenship Day different than January 16th? Why isn't it um, November, November 4th? Yes. Yes, yes. Day of registration. Mm -hmm. October. Yeah. Give yourself a month to think about it. Yes. September. Bounce! What was the important... <laughs>